Creek fishing is absolutely one of my most favorite experiences in the whole fly fishing world. It's incredibly intimate. You're looking for fish. It's clear, small water. You have the time. It's you there, probably your buddy, taking turns, just able to take a lot of time and experience all of what fishing is really about. Late August on a Spring Creek is a great time to be out here and experience everything it has to offer. When all the rivers are getting hot, you know, the days are up to 90 degrees, you know, the Spring Creek is still 60 degrees and it's, you know, one, two, three in the afternoon. That's some of the prime time fishing. It starts out in the morning with your trichos. You know, somewhere around 10, 11 o'clock, you get this incredible spinner fall. Just brings all the fish up on the surface looking for them. You know, and then the day progresses, the, they get off the spinners, and then it might be an hour or so where it slows down just a little bit. And then usually the heat kicks up, the wind picks up, and you get the hoppers, and the hoppers, to me are the best hatch of all. You know, they're a long hatch, big flies, you don't have to fish 6X. Long leaders, precise casts, yes, but big hoppers, willing fish, vicious takes, that's what it's about. Flop it over the top. Two feet ahead of him, not much more. From right here? Yeah, I'll walk up. It won't be too much ahead of you. Okay. Sometimes these fish get just so keyed in on the trico hatch or whatever hatch it may be, there's trichos in this case, and, and they won't look at anything else and they're gonna have to have exactly what they want. Mm -hmm. I can think of a time on this trip, we had a great big fish up. I knew throwing the hopper wasn't the right idea, but I thought, you know, maybe we can get by with a, a compare done. Tipped it down, nothing. Didn't even look at me, you know, he was eating trichos. He'd actually wake the, the compare done out of the way. So, tip it down more go down to about 15 foot a liter, change flies, change flies, change flies. Finally, after trying a bunch of really small, delicate patterns that he just wouldn't eat, 
I, I've had a lot of luck in the past going to Little Cricket. Still super long leader. I'm fortunate enough to make a good cast. First pass over, just inhales it. That's called camera anxiety. Having a buddy out there, being able to just get out and experience it with a friend who loves it every bit as much as you, that's, that really adds a lot to the whole experience. Oh. He doesn't like it, I guess. I could belly crawl through that grass and get a shot of, oh my gosh. You get, can get right next to him. Yeah. <laughs> When everything goes right, you'll get to see what a Spring Creek's really about. The trico hatch drives this thing right now. Being able to sit back, watch the fish do what fish do, heads coming completely out of the water, one after another. Seeing just the bugs, how the fish interact with each other, you know. They're, some of them are dominant, some of them push each other out. You'll get three, four, five fish lined up in a row you know just mowing bugs down and to sit back and watch that to me is just as rewarding as it is actually to get to throw a cast to them.
end of the day, you just are so satisfied throwing long leaders, getting a few good casts in, throwing hoppers, being able to see these incredible big browns come out of nowhere. There's nothing quite as fulfilling as being able to fish a Spring Creek in late August.